Hello, Senior Stoner fans. This is the real Senior Stoner back at you. And who said diamonds are forever? Well, it's the name of a James Bond movie, but it's also kind of the way I live my life. What I want to do today is discuss my diamond assortment, partially, and really describe to you how I do things, how I think about my medication, uh, what it is, and what it provides me, and hopefully what it could provide you too. Let's get started. I use three primary brands right now of diamonds, and I want to discuss each one with you in some detail, but I want you to be able to see it. Hopefully it's nice and clear for you. First of all, for years, I have contracted with a private grower to make me my own diamonds. These are dry diamonds. And what dry diamonds do is dry diamonds get crumbled into my jimmy joints. Those diamonds are not for smoking in a dab. They are for jimmy joints. Then I go to my excellence diamonds, which has really been uh, quite an amazing thing for me. Um, I've had a lot of diamonds and the excellence brand, you can see the terpenes in there and how they glisten. Um, they are some of the nicest rock diamonds that I've ever come in contact with. Uh, the brand is excellence. Uh, I've used quite a few of them, of the excellence products. A number of different types of dabs. So Excellence has quite a few different things out in the market. They come packaged really nicely. A lot of different terps, a lot of different flavors. That's the Excellence brand of diamonds. Then we move to Raw Garden. Raw Garden is a Southern California brand. And this example I have what we call citrus gas and Kosher Chem X. These are live sauce and live resin diamonds. They're very strong and very tasty. Now, I have one open that I want you to take a close look at because I want you to see the difference in the texture between the diamonds. Remember, dry diamond, diamond rock. Now we have diamond sauce. Let's see if you can get in there and see what I'm talking about. See how it's almost like a, uh, a molten liquid, looks like maple syrup type of stuff? Well, that's the sauce, and that really goes good on a dab. And that's how Raw Garden does most of their dabs. Then we go to a brand that I've become really familiar with. Um, I stock it, and I like it a lot, called SoCal Dabbers. SoCal Dabbers. Let's take a couple of looks at the strains I'm using. We have banana OG and orange cookie combo. We have orange cookies by themselves. We have private reserve X cookies. We have Zour OG and Exodus OG on the table right now. Behind us, I'm showing two additional strains to show you the differences. On the left, we have, let me just get the name of it, please. Orange Cookies Sativa Sauce. And what you'll see is it is a sauce. You can see how it looks. You see how it looks? It's grainy, but it's a sauce. And over here, we have Neon Lights, which is more of a rock type of diamond with stones in it. Oops, excuse me. You can see the stones in it. I'm using my handle. Hopefully my Osmo handle is helping this picture be clear for you all. So each one of these diamonds, each one, each brand, comes with a little bit of a different story, a little different box. They mark it a little differently. But here's something they all do. They all pack a punch that's second to none. So if you think you're going to use shatter, if you think you're going to use wax, Maybe you want to spend that extra couple dollars and get the stronger medicine, which is the diamonds. Now, something I use along with diamonds, kind of like a bartender, 
if I take a piece of dry diamond especially, if I wanted to use a piece of dry diamond in my device, I would take a piece of dry diamond and then I would load on top of it either some of my nuclear genetics, and this is the best stuff out there, nuclear genetics, Cali OG, or Trinity Gold. Now this is, by my findings, two of the best distillate manufacturers on the market. Really hard to come by. Not just somebody, a grower, getting me stuff. This is branded stuff that really measures, gives you the documentation so you know what you're dabbing. I like to know, <clears throat> almost seed to sale, where things are coming from. So what I look for, I do not look for, uh, let me give you an example of what I don't look for. I have it, I bought it, but it's not my primary. This is some diamond that I had made for me. But I think you can see it's blonder. Very little terp going on in there. Okay? I got it at a good price. All right? So I bought some. But the real punch, the real game, is on the diamonds by strain, by texture, by taste. You choose. Hope you enjoyed this little discussion and viewing of my diamond collection. I hope you enjoyed it. This is The Real Senior Stoner saying have a great day, everybody. And remember, I guess diamonds are forever.